Hello everyone, it's Old Guardian here. I recently played some viewer request decks on stream and one of those happened to be this one. This is a Secret Face Hunter. Secret Face Hunter has kind of become obsolete because everyone's playing the Secret Arcane Hunter, but the archetype is still perfectly capable of winning a bunch of games. I didn't notice to ask if this was their own list or if they got this from somewhere. Anyway, compared to what Secret Face Hunter used to be, this list drops the two copies of Bait and Switch and replaces them with Catrick and Anonymous Informant. Given that Bait and Switch hasn't been that effective lately and Catrick has been very, very good lately, that seems like a pretty good pretty good switch. Also Anonymous Informant in the list where it has been played has been pretty decent, so I can see that working out. On the other hand, now it only has three secrets, so sometimes definitely my costume singers ended up not drawing anything, which meant that I didn't have that many secrets to proc, and sometimes Starstrong Bow was a little bit more difficult to discount, so I'm not sure about the informant, but at least Catrick seems to be doing really well in this deck, and overall I had a good time playing with this, going with some of that good old Observer of Myths and get some stuff on the board and get them attack and star strong bows and boom boom face hitting and kraken banes and everything just just classic face hunter style stuff combined with some secrets given that secret arcane hunter and hound hunter are currently perhaps the two best decks in the game i suppose there's no real reason to play this version of hunter but sometimes you just want to blast some face and there's a good deck for that as for the mulligans with the deck, I looked into the statistics and noticed that actually one drops are what you're really, really looking for. Costume Singer, Viciously the Spear, Trinket Tracker. I had assumed that something like Wild Spirits is so incredibly powerful that you always keep it, but actually, if you don't have a one drop, you want to mulligan everything else, you want to get those one drops. But if you have one drops, then of course, getting stuff out on the curve can be good, Wild Spirits can be good. Sometimes there are some plays against slow decks where you want to keep Observer of Myths and then maybe something like if you have Observer of Myths and Awakening Tremors against something slow, for example, you can, you can make some of those combinations work. But in the main, you want to get your one drops. Start the game early, start the game fast, hit some face and win some games and this is what it all looks like in action. I have to prove myself to you. Stuff of the Primus is coming. Kind of want to coin out the Agramar. I'll just grab these for now. Their hero power means that they can pretty easily kill some of this stuff. Which one do I get here? Okay, we get the taunt. That's gonna be interesting. The citadel stands strong. But they can have the AoE clear. That's also gonna be tough. No! Not the plague! We need to do it like this. Okay. Posik next turn? Maybe. Or try to get a bunch of... I'll try to get a bunch of Yomungars out there and hope they don't have the AoE card. Oh dear, oh dear. And this has got to be Posig. It's not looking too good though. One more turn and they get to the Hound. Not looking good at all. Not looking good at all. I have to trust in Agramar. The 
will make the enforcers. I'll have to trade like this. Now the taunt is here. Ozig is here, so Hound doesn't kill. Hound doesn't get to hit into Agramar. We have some tools. But there's still a 30, so I, I haven't been able to do anything really. Sorry, we're just losing. <laughs> we don't have anything going on here. Need to kill that one. Uh, we're in, we just don't have enough. There's no way. There's absolutely no way. I can't do anything. We only need one. I was barely able to fight for this board. to kill this. My blood boils for war. I have to get stuff on this board. Maybe like this. If they don't have another Tomb Trader, this could still be okay ish. No, they can kill with the 8 1 and then they can kill with the Hound. Yeah, it's not enough. I'm, I'm always losing the Hound. So I, I just start ignoring the possibility of a Hound because I always lose if there's a Hound. Unless they play it like this, I guess. Then I might not lose to a hound. What are the... They're, they're playing crazy. Crazy game. Is this going to draw plague? I only have a couple of spells anyway. to get the bow out there. I still don't think this is enough. Technically I have lethal here, but there's so many cards they could have that will prevent the lethal. I have 19, that already takes them to 21. If this draws a banana, I win. This still wins. 
to believe this. Okay, I did not believe that was going to happen, but apparently it did. It's coin observer into the one drops into the poacher. That's the best we've got. We need to go in fast. No one's going to believe this. Probably shouldn't have an answer to the observer. I hope. There's an op opportunity to do a barrel. If I really want to try to protect the observer. Okay, now I really have to try to protect the observer. They need another natural causes. How to kill it. There's not much, right? We'll have to try it like this. Druid needs one damage from somewhere. If they don't have one damage now, the Druid will lose. Other than just the hero power, I mean. They have to find something that deals damage. And I already saw what natural cause is. Alright. We will win, won't we? I have 12, 17 that I could push to the face. How can the druid respond? Innervate drum. Innervate and the drums. I may want to use one of these to trade. Even if they have buffs, it's it's. We're just going to do this. They still need an innervate. They still need an innervate to live. Double Lunar Eclipses is not bad. But it's still not enough. Alright, made the make the right calls there. Maybe. Could have ditched Posik. Wild Spirits is I suppose Wild Spirits is always strong enough to keep, but Posik may be a little bit too slow. We'll give it a try. Two, three, four. Too bad no secrets for the bow, but can't have everything. This one eating party snacks. <laughs> not not the one I wanted, because I hope for either of the other two sort of wild spirits would would speed them up. But sometimes you get that one. Happens. Let's hope we don't get another one of those. We didn't. Okay, that's nice. So now we have a steady stream of stuff coming. This is not on the same turn, by the way. This is the next secret any at any time. So we can do Poacher Informant next turn, for example. I guess we're going POSIC. Radications, not bad. Need to get some pressure going. Let's see. No, do they have the slime? They have the slime. And slime will give them dark and yeah, that's gonna be a big problem. I'll have to trade in both of these anyway. No 
I guess we'll have to proc it. Hope that nothing too bad happens. Oh, here we go. Well, so far so good. They didn't have the resurrection card in hand. We will keep blasting for now. Let's try to blast. Alright, we get them down to 8. Even, I mean, they can't afford to resurrect Darken. They just die to the board. I haven't had spells for Kraken Bane. Let's do something else than resurrect. Let's see. Um, does it? Yeah, it does interpret them as coming immediately, does it? Ah, uh, maybe. Then, then I should have done it in different order. Thank you for watching. Click like and subscribe if you enjoyed this. And a special thanks to all of my Patreon supporters, YouTube members and Twitch subscribers who make all of these videos possible.